Hello Norman. Shema. Uh, it was a very impressive night for you. Yeah, it was kind of like I, how I imagined the fight would go. I kind of predicted it would go like that there, but maybe I, was, I said in an interview I would take it into the third round, beat him up a wee bit like on the ground. But my hand felt a wee bit wonky, this left hand, and I think maybe he punched my hand when, you know, when he was throwing big bombs. And uh, I thought, fuck it, I don't get paid for overtime, so let's just get this shit wrapped up so I can drink a beer after this fight. <laughs> At the beginning, he started uh, very, very offensive. Uh, did you feel those uh, punches? Yeah, I knew. I, I, I knew. I knew. We, I train with lots of people who throw big bombs like us here, and I've been through lots of tough fights, tough sparring with good heavy punchers too. He was heavy, he threw a lot of heavy shots, but he never, he did catch me a few, but I rolled with him, you know, this way, but I think if I was coming on to him, maybe, you know, I would maybe have been dancing a wee bit, but I used my, my, not many brains in there, but I got a good fight brain. <laughs> You've got some. Yeah, yeah, I got some, uh, a few goldfish floating about in there. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, and uh, I used my experience, stayed relaxed and just waited for my time. <clears throat> and I think he was broke after I dropped him in the first round. I've, I seen his demeanor change and his body type changed a wee bit then, his eyes changed. So uh, We are in Freak Fight Federation, right? But I think it is a great idea that uh, they hire you, professional fighter, because people can see what's the difference between uh, Freak, fight fighter, freak Fight Fighter and uh, professional. Yeah, yeah, I think people, uh, you know, the normal person, if they don't know who I was and I come in to fight, <coughs> they'd be thinking, you know, if I fight someone else, and then they see two other amateurs fighting and they just smash each other up. They'd be like, yeah, all oh, them guys are the best fighters. And then one of them comes to fight me and the fans would be like, oh yeah, I'm going to get smashed. And then they realize, oh fuck, who's this guy? Oh, look him up. Oh, he's, you know, lots of professional fights. And then they, you know, ah, oh, I like this guy. So I'm playing that game. You know, I'm playing that game and they respect it too. And <clears throat> I just play the game. You know, you got to play the game. You, so you've been David, he was Goliath. Huh? Uh, you've been David, he was Goliath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a good fight, it was an interesting fight. It was, it was, he threw big bombs like I expected. Second round I knew uh, he was going to come out hard, at, at the most one minute hard. Uh, but it wasn't, I think it was maybe 35, I don't know, 40 seconds. And then I said, fuck this, let's come down into grappling and see how he is. I wanted to feel, he was just using too much strength. And then I just threw a couple of wee shots from the side and I could feel the hand knocking a little bit inside. I thought maybe there's something wrong with my hand in here. <clears throat> I just fuck it. Flatten him out. Once I flattened him out, he was never getting out of there. It's a very tough position to get out of. And uh, I just says, right, it's time to just throw bombs here. But I never, I never says, I says during the fight or the interview before, the face to face, I'm going to talk shit to him. But no, I never spoke to him at all because I showed him respect. You know, I says, there was a lot of pressure on him too. I could see it in his eyes. I could see it in his eyes when we were like in the cage. I could see him, you know, but. I respect them for stepping in and, and doing that. I, you know, if he wants to fight, the you know I can do the fight, uh, uh, just striking, no problem. I could do this. I don't need to shit in for the grappling. People, uh, I think my striking's get better. You know, I th I feel like it's improving a good bit, and it's better for me to even use my grappling too. So who's next, Popic? I no, I would like that. You know, people saw the fight with me and Popic. You know, Popic hit me and I was moving about, but Popic never hit me cling. You know, I was like, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Popic moved me because he's heavy, just pushed me about a wee bit, you know. And I was like, people were, I read the comments after the fight, no, Park was going to get knocked out. And I would get crazy, I would be like, fuck, no, 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 no. I would keep that chip on my shoulder, I was like, let's see how the fight started. And let's see how it would be in round two, how Popic would be. Let's go, Popic. When you heal up them little uh, weak hands, come, I'll finish him too. I like him too, I like Pobic, but I still want him to rap my uh, name in his next rap song, so we need to fight clear, a good clean fight, so I'm the proper winner, because I don't feel like I won the fight. He broke his hand, right? <clears throat> so, and even though it's a win, I don't feel like I won properly, so once I whip him, you know, take some damage, whip him, ground and pound, uh, he better rap my name in his next rap song. <laughs> Uh, so what's next? Uh, are you a uh, free man right now or you have uh, more fights in uh, Fame MMA? That was my last fight in the contract, it was, yeah. <coughs> and, uh, but you're open, I guess. I'm open, aye, but uh, I have got an offer to fight somewhere, but 
out of respect, I spoke with him MMA and I'm going to speak with him after the fight. I just want to go home. I'm, I was meant to go home on Tuesday, but I'm going home tomorrow. I want to go home and see my boys, you know, and just just chill, you know, that's it. I love to spend time with them, so I want to go back with them and carry on, mess about. And uh, and then I'll talk with him MMA. I will talk with him next week at some stage. Okay, last one, because there are people waiting for you. Uh, there, a political one right now. Uh, you are from Northern Ireland, right? Uh, and right now there are moves uh, to join, to unite uh, Ireland. Uh, are, you, are you in favor on this or not? <laughs> yeah, they asked me that question. No, I, I, you know, there is no uh, uh, bad things from my side. I just wonder how you... I've seen, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I've seen that, you know, the votes and all were uh, a lot different than they used to be, but... Uh, I don't really focus too much on that there, you know, because where I'm from, it's quite a political area and uh, we are Protestant people, you know, and obviously we want to keep uh, Northern Ireland, you know, we want to stay uh, the way it is. I think, you know, if it ever did change, it would uh, turn back to like the 1970s and 80s again. I think it would if it was uh, United Ireland, but I don't really think too much about this. I don't really get sucked into it, you know, I understand what the fuck's going on, but... I just like traveling the world and fucking beating people up, making money. <laughs> sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers, bro. Cinquia. Your Polish is getting much better now. Yeah, only the same words, but I need to learn something else. Yeah, but we can say that. Cześć, 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 mama, nimie, normski.